In central New Delhi, it's a difficult walk to work for shoe shiner Amit. He contracted polio as a toddler, leaving his legs and spine twisted. Just 14 years old, he's been working on this busy Delhi street for five years, forced to earn a living by his parents. I wanted to study, but my parents had to pay off the debts that came from visits to the temple and offerings to try and cure me. That's why I had to start working. Amit travels nearly an hour each day to shine shoes here for a few rupees. It's a world away from his dream of learning to read and write. Across India, polio survivors are often forced into a life on the margins. With no adequate state care, they rely on family or charity. So while the country celebrates eradicating polio this month with no fresh cases in three years, many campaigners fear the millions already crippled by the disease will be forgotten. There are no, no statistics, definite statistics, but I would guess there are between three and four million uh, polio survivors in India today. And um, they all need to be given the, the facilities to lead a dignified life. At St. Stephen's Hospital in the heart of the capital, Dr. Matthew Varghese and his team offer some hope. An orthopaedic surgeon, he runs one of India's only dedicated polio wards, carrying out corrective surgery for free. 14-year-old Mohammed has crawled on the floor most of his young life, and after treatment, he'll be able to stand. Dr. Varghese says a polio-free India is a remarkable achievement, but he worries about the future now that the disease is no longer in the spotlight. The new surgeons that are coming out, they have no skills in doing polio surgeries. It's the older generation that has skilled. It's taken nearly two decades for India to wipe out polio with a massive vaccination program, but for years to come, millions will continue to live with the disease's painful legacy.